Hey, Athena for 191 yeah. Radio. We're here at Dingbats in Clifton, New Jersey with Aaron Yo. from 191 Live and 7th Lair from... Harrisburg, Woop Pennsylvania. Woop. Now, we're not from Woop Woop, so from Woop. How long did it take you guys to drive here? <laughs> um, well, hours. Like five hours. hours. You guys drive well, slower well, than the Suicide it, Puppets. It, it, it's it's hard. called speed limits. Well, and, and also, we yeah, were at an yeah, epilepsy yeah. Uh, wrestling yeah. event for yeah. epilepsy. Did anybody have an attack? No. Ah, how boring. Man, okay. That would have been awesome in the ring. So he was like, I'm going to fuck brought you like you. Okay, guys. No, no, no. It's really difficult. To like maintain the speed limit when I'm really you're scared. When you're in roadhead, you know what I mean? Because you break too hard, you bite. Who's down. giving you roadhead? Has that happened to you? Uh, Several yeah. times. Yeah. Other it's bandmates. I, I had a big. I know who it was then. I had a big Woody yeah. sitting in the front seat for over road with me. Yeah. Toy Story doesn't count. So. Okay, guys. <laughs> we almost had two days, but So this is Aaron here with 191 Vans, and I'm hanging out with the seventh layer you guys absolutely ripped it tonight you guys the style is very distinct very original how did that come about like how did you guys get this together well uh basically well, in all reality the band originally was me and then havoc and then for four years it went about that and havoc came up with the idea and i'll be honest i was against it but he came up with the idea he's like let's have a band Add. and then we just went around to other bands we were like man this drummer in Effigy, who's a speed metal band, is really fucking good. So we still want to play with us too. Make me too? slow down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a hell of an artist yeah, too. I gotta tell you. Kill him. We just asked if he would play with us as well. Temporarily. Temporarily play with us. The term is acquired. Yes. And then the other band just happened to fall apart, oh. and he became full time with us. Sadly. Whoa. And it just kept going like that the whole way down the road. Yeah, he kept and then, using heat. Okay, he so a, how did you get this character right here? Goliath this, Online. Yes. Goliath Music What's, Online. Goliath correct? Music Online. Goliath yes. is my solo project. Uh, it's really weird. Uh, it's it's music. Very I'm, industrial. It's, it's very good. I'm trying to fucking talk. I will fucking fist you. Wow, oh, damn it. In, in the ass. Oh, where else? I'm fucking stalk him. I don't know. We'll work on that later. Anyway, uh, I went to Canada. And I got to open for Apocalypse and Rammstein. It was my second gig of all. You know, any gig I've ever done uh, with my solo projects. That's really fucking amazing. And then on Craigslist, of all you know, his prostitution. You know how that works. Uh, he, he said no. that he's looking for. I prostitute myself on Craigslist. Is what he's trying to say. I found him. I five found cents an hour. Five cents. An hour. Will you hour. shut the fuck up? That's a really cheap date. Yeah, she is. Too bad you're not coming back. And Save your nickels, ladies. I love Save your I nickels. Like Save your nickels. Okay. Save them. Okay, so what do you call your genre? <laughs> you just cut you off. Oh. And how did you find this character over here? That guy. Uh, I had the misfortune of uh, actually, I, actually. I work with him. Yes. You work with who? I am the bartender. What do you, oh, you're a bartender? I am the bartender as a. What do you wear to work? Do you I, wear I, nickels? I am the pirate outfit. You are, wear a pirate outfit? That's I so do. freaking cool. I work at the Renaissance Fair. I work at the Renaissance Fair. Now, this guy right here looks familiar. So I don't know where I've seen you before, but I definitely know your face. Gay sex videos. We're not gonna go ahead. Yes. Renaissance Fair. Gay sex Renaissance movie. Fair. Of course. Yes. <laughs> he trains hawks. Shut up. To attack <laughs> and kill. He's gonna tell you. You know who's next right now. What? So what are the major influences, like other bands that you guys like really like that you think cool. influence that's, your music? That's the beauty of this entire band is that it's everybody everywhere. has different influences from Devo to Insane Clown Posse to fucking Nine Misfits, Nine Inch Nails, Nine Inch Nails fucking Manson. Bloodhound Gang, Dr. Dre. Fucking, I wrestled a bear once. <laughs> so did I. The Misfits. That was, that was, that was sad. Yeah, we get to see that twice, though. Yes, yes, yes. 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 They just showed each other. Rammstein. Yes, Rammstein. Oh. Like, it's just a huge plethora of fucking music. Everything. Like, yes. that we're all basically influenced in separate ways. It is a now, how does that affect you guys' writing, you know? Because you're sure with all those different influences, it's got to be hard to get everything together. Well, you'd actually, actually come up with this awesome you'd sound. Actually be, you'd actually be surprised. In the, in the limited amount of time that this lineup has been playing together, um, you know, we, we start doing stuff in mm -hmm. practice because some, what will happen is somebody will go outside to smoke a cigarette or Havoc will have to make a phone call or Phil will have to make a phone call and me in detail. And, and by the time somebody know, comes back passion. in, there's already we're, something We're going. noodling around, noodling around, and then it, it, every once in a while, this happened a couple weeks ago, we're inside noodling around doing something and I hear Havoc from outside, 
Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Hey, what's that? Mm-hmm. And then I replied, your mom. And then he came back inside and we were, we were, we were Yeah, we got we're, it. We're in the midst of working on a new album yeah. right now. It's going to have the same kind of sound to it or is it more metal? I, I'm sure it's going to have a little different influence. The last album, we, we kind of Nine Inch Nailed it. And we went in and <laughs> yeah. it was, we I'm did it ourselves. Oh, oh, maybe just like use that. that as a verb. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just please stay, yeah. keep, uh, keep your attitudes good. Don't get a Reznor attitude. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Reznor. I think that's pretty Don't get a core. You know, you know nowadays with, with music, we got a lot of people oh. talking about their genre oh. and like their scene. Like, do you guys think that genres Here's even the, matter? Let me, let me say this one thing about genre. I've been in the music business 20 years. Genre will fuck you every single time. As soon as you pigeonhole yourself into a cookie cutter, you're dead. That's why you make up your own. Yep. So what do you call it? So that's what that, that's what's so fun about those. You can make up your own genre and you can actually be descriptive and it can that's be right. Yeah, like pulled under versus to give them one. I'm a steampunk one by the way. So I like, I like to call us industrial steam. horror hop. Industrial horror hop. That's yes, that's what I like. Horror hop. Horror, horror hop. hop. Yes. Yeah, horror hot music. I, I, I think basically yeah, like, we're trying to transcend like, the underground with the sound, really. Yeah. It's taking what we do and just transcend everything that's underground up to the mainstream level of success without changing it to anything mainstream and kind of killing that shit, you know making the mainstream come underground. The damn thing. So, what do you guys, what's you guys' next step? Because it sounds like you guys are tight, you guys are together, you guys have a lot of focus and a lot of vision. There's a couple schools of thought on that. I'm probably going to use my right foot. One school of thought would be uh, what I what I personally would like to do is now that we've been playing together uh, for a while with the new lineup and playing a lot of live shows, we've been playing a lot lately. What I'd like to do is take some of the stuff from Bring Out Your Dead uh, disc that these guys released before I was in the band and uh, actually cut a, a six song live EP, a little mini version of what you get when we play a 30 minute set. Um, however, at the same time, we're also working on brand new material. So hopefully by hopefully by fall, maybe early winter, we should be releasing a brand new twelve song. Uh, at least, yeah, at least like the back in the area. Twelve song on top of releases next week. Next week, the tenth. Uh, Bring out your dead is released worldwide yeah, the, the previous, via Def Jam. The previous album will be re-released. You use TuneCore. What's that? TuneCore. What's that? Thirty-six boxes, everything for you. Oh yeah, whatever whatever we're on, it does all of it for us. What's it called? It's Def Jam. Def Jam it's Digital Def Jam Distribution. Digital. Okay. Def Jam Island. Island. Basically, you're on all major retailers. It's funny. A while ago, uh, Def Jam signed a band called Unresolved Conflict at Adam Montclair, and that was my buddy Matt Bruce, who's now in Kincaid, and uh, this guy Jeff, who was in Cost Without Reason, and saw a bunch of other kids. And I was their manager for a while. And it kind of fell apart. Do you guys have any concerns about stuff like that happening, being we, the kind of band you are, even though you have that rap element? We, we, are you worried about already, the rock element getting in the way of Def Jam's persona we as like had a, a rap record label? label. Yeah, we, we, had, we started with Island us. Palm initially. And uh, Island Palm wanted us to take off our face paint, which we're not which wearing Which we're not wearing tonight because of time restraints and getting it ready and everything else. For and the right wanted thing. us to write songs. Who like, wanted you to take off your like, face paint? They, they, Island they, Palm. They, they, they did it very smoothly. Idiots. It was was like, all right, well, you know, you guys don't have to take off the face paint except for shows that we booked for you. Hold on. And then it was, well, just get rid of the face paint. And then it was, well, was, you don't need the band. Can we just have the band on a couple, of the band on a couple tracks? Well, hey, can you do songs like Take This Dick and Shake Your Ass? Can, can you just do club songs? Can you be like Lincoln Park? Can you sound just like, no, no, it wasn't. No, 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 they were not no, no. Can you sound they like Little Wayne? Wayne? For us and wanted us to and sound it, like it a Beastie came, Boy version of Lil Wayne. Into more Shout out to uh, Flavor Unit. It just, we just stopped. Like, we were just like, no, no, no. And then it just, they were like, you know what? And then we had one loophole in that contract because it was a terrifically written contract. And the one loophole was stated entering the contract, they know the product that we are giving them. It's meant to cover their ass, meaning we know what they can do for us. But we use it to our own advantage. Good for you. They need to know what we are about as well. And Vance, please make sure you've got a good lawyer. That's the first thing you need before you do anything. That's, that's really, really important. So, do you guys have any cool, really cool upcoming shows that are going on? Where can we find you guys Club playing Access, out live? York. When's August that? August 27th. That's a gay club in York. Get and the it's hell be out. Awesome. But they're throwing a whole big freak show circus oh, yeah. thing. With like 50 performers. Oh, and they got three the different band. stages. August 27th at York, and what's the name of the venue? Yeah, it's Club XS. Club XS, the, uh, like X and then S. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, what other bands are playing? 
uh, at the gathering? Are, what other bands are playing that night? Uh, or, uh, Club, Club XS. Or the Club XS. I have no idea. Club XS. I know Mr. Is, Dead Poets. Club XS. Yeah. There is uh, Dead, Poets Dead Poets are playing. Yeah, Mr. Dead Poets. Oh, uh, Mr. Dead Poets. Uh, Mr. Dead Poets. Uh, Mr. Dead Poets. It's, we're the headlining act. FYF. FYF. I have no Dead idea who Poets. Uh, uh, it's important. It's a bunch of hip hop underground. Yeah. You know? At a gay club. Yes. yes. Are y'all gonna wear hot pants? We, were we are going to be dressing as the Avengers. Superheroes. Well, not the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. couldn't do the. I'm the Incredible Hulk. Um, and he I'm is uh, I'm not, I'm not, Wolverine. Wonder Twins. We need Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins. The powers have to activate, man. Oh, are they Marvel? I think maybe. Uh, I don't shape up. What the fuck is this? I think maybe G and Hatchet Head could be the Wonder Twins. Maybe. G ain't in the image right now. Okay, guys. So, okay, we have the, uh, the 27th of York and then. the gathering next week. What's the gathering? The gathering of the Juggalos out in Illinois. With insane clown posse. Naughty by nature. Twisted. Little Kim. Okay, wait. Stop for a minute. Where is this and what's the date? Illinois, all Illinois. next week. It's all next week. It's from Thursday till Sunday. We're all headlining second week. stage at the 6 p.m. time. For four nights straight? Huh? Yeah. Four, yeah. Days, four straight. days straight. So and you, and the party don't festival. stop until Sunday. Oh, yeah. Literally, yeah, there's no goes. stop to the party. Music goes. Sounds like our anarchy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are playing four nights in a row starting. No, we, we, we headline Thursday. Thursday. We headline on second the second stage. stage. Uh -huh. And we're and playing Friday, two of the side we stages. Two side stages. Yeah. Yeah. Friday you're playing? Yes, Friday twice. and Saturday. Okay. Two days on Friday and one day we're headlining main. You have a show on Friday. We have a show on Friday. Next week? This week or next week? Next week. Next week. Oh, okay. Next that's week. All next week. So what are the dates from what to what? The, uh, it's the 11th 11 through the... 16th. 11th through the 16th. That's this Friday. Yeah, this next upcoming week. Oh, okay. 11th through the 14th. Yeah, that's next week. All right, so, Aaron, if you were to um, give them a suggestion as to where venues they should play in this area, what could you tell them? I, I would say QXT. QXT. They're in there. They are crazy. They love people who really go over the fucking top when you guys take And LJ and is too much of yes, LJ. Can. Because I miss stage diving Look, tonight. Last time I was there, they had chicks being paid Pyramid Club. And pushing themselves up against sheets. Trash bar. I'm all about Bar A. I, bar A. Bar A. So shout out Ben Plugizzi. We got to get in touch with them and get them yeah. on Bar A. Okay, so this is Athena for 191 Radio with uh, Aaron. Yo. 191 Live. Make sure Live. you check out these guys on 191 at Stick AM. And you can also check out this interview when it's put up at yahoo.com yeah. forward slash 191 bands. Fucking seventh layer here ripping it up at Dingbats in fucking Clifton, New Jersey. Right on. And, and what's your website? Give me a website. www.seventhlayer.net. That's www.7thlayer.net.